There's a lot of things that uh, we don't have. Right. Right? In life. Mm -hmm. Probably a lot of things we'd like to have, but uh, we don't have to have them. But there's also some things that we don't have that we really need. Yes. Getting what you don't have. It's Hunt for Wellness episode number 94. For wellness, I'm John Hunt. And I'm Christy Hunt. And this is the show where we help you live your best life, mind, body, and spirit. And this episode of Hunt for Wellness is brought to you by waterdistillers.com. Great machines that produce great water for your great wellness. Go over and check it out at waterdistillers.com. And if you go over there, you'll get what you don't have, which is probably good water. Yeah, yeah. which is good water. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's a lot of things that uh, we don't have. Right. Right, in life. Mm -hmm. Probably a lot of things we'd like to have, but uh, yeah. we don't have to have them. But there's also some things that we don't have that we really need. Yes. That and that's true. what we are going to talk mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. today. You know, basic supplements. Mm -hmm. uh, because for a variety of reasons we're going to talk about today, um, you just don't get everything you need uh, produced by your body and produced by the food that you eat. Correct. So yeah. um, that's mm -hmm. where basic supplements come in. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we've talked about all kinds of different uh, supplements on this program in the past because, you know, there's things that uh, uh, different plant can, you know, provide for us that you know our body doesn't naturally produce yes. but we still need it mm -hmm. so um how do you want to start this out today well you need to take care of you yeah well that sounds good yeah because everybody is so busy moms dads particularly who are taking care of the mm -hmm. family and often they kind of neglect their own health mm -hmm. and especially when they're younger um life is just so busy right and so so it gets so busy and I don't need to take care of me. I just need to take care of everybody else. But if you don't take care of you, um, you can't take care of everybody else. Right. And you don't do a good job at it because you're tired or worn out, mm -hmm. um, not feeling good. And the health may start to fail if you're right. not taking good care of yourself. Yeah. We've talked about self-care before on mm -hmm. some other podcasts. And uh, in the show notes, we'll link to some of our favorite episodes about self-care. Yes. Uh, because, uh, you know, we want to be whole and good ourselves so that we can help others. Absolutely. And, right. you know, just on some on other ways to support yourself mm -hmm. and to supplement yourself is to pray. Mm -hmm. You know, read the Bible, pray, talk to God about yes. the things that are going on in the day and what's concerning you. And he says, cast all your cares on me because I care for you. Mm-hmm. And he wants to help you. Yeah, that's a great supplement. Yeah, that's like the best supplement yeah. of all. Yeah, for um, sure. So, and trusting in him. And how much better are we when we're not worried and yeah. stressed and fearful about yes. some things that are going to happen? If we're just happy and free and moving forward with confidence. Yes. Reminds us of our last episode, number 93, which was the emotion, emotional release technique. Mm -hmm. uh, check that one out because that one, we really talk about how you do let some of that stuff go. Yes. And uh, so definitely check that out. Okay. Yes. And then, you know, getting exercise, mm -hmm. of course, eating well. Um, and drinking good water. That's right. You know, yep. we've got to have good water. That's why we yep. have waterdistillers.com behind and, this show. Right. And then just taking some supplements. And the reason that we want to take supplements is the food is not the way it used to be. Yeah. A lot of the good stuff is taken out. That's right. You know, especially in the processed food. And, yeah. You know, you know, not everyone wants to eat raw. Right. Well, we're not saying eat raw <laughs> yeah, I mean, all the time. It is, it is good. That's, that's the way you're going to get yeah. your best, uh, best yeah. minerals and vitamins. But mm -hmm. there are some, I'm sure, you know... You know, when people come and talk to me about 
you know, they know we do this and stuff. Mm-hmm. And they say like, mm-hmm. what are like, what are the basics? What's the baseline that I need? Yes. You know, and mm-hmm. um, like if, if someone was only going to take one thing, I'd probably say take Ninksha Red. Right. Right. Because right. Ninksha Red's got a zillion vitamins and minerals and, you know, just about every, every supplement you could probably think all poured into one. And it's a drink. Yeah. Especially for those people that don't like to take like a capsule or a pill. Right. Right. But I just want to step back a minute and just talk about the food. Oh, yeah, yeah. And why the food is not the way it used to be. I mean, when God created everything in the beginning, it was fantastic. Mm-hmm. You know, all the nutrition was there. They Everyone could get all the nutrition they needed from the food. Yeah. Um, but now the food is being damaged by repeatedly growing, grown on the same soil depleted land, sprayed with pesticides, fertilizers. Mm-hmm. Scientists are breeding new crops so that grow faster and faster to resist the bugs and they don't really have time to absorb all the nutrients that they need from the ground. The soil, if it's not regenerative farming, which most of it is not, it's losing its vitamins, minerals, microbes faster than it can be replaced. Mm -hmm. Many of our seeds are genetically modified and um, almost 80% of the corn grown in the U.S. is made with genetically modified seeds. And it's really hard to find organic corn corn like it try is. to find organic corn tortillas it's like super difficult yeah um and we don't even know what all that gmo does to the human body or the dna like it can't be good though. no mm-mm, <laughs> mm-mm. i can tell you that and so then nutrients they've done some um studies on the nutrients uh the cushy institute did analysis of data from 1975 to 1997. So in just 22 years, the average calcium levels dropped in 12 fresh vegetables, 12 types, 27%. Mm -hmm. The iron went down 30%. The vitamin C dropped 30%. Potassium lost 14%. So you'd have to eat eight oranges today to get the same amount of vitamin A that your grandparents got. That's something. And that's from the Scientific American. Right. Um, yes, that is significant. Right. So, I mean, it's... Eat uh, eight oranges. Who eats eight oranges? No. Nope. Nobody does. Maybe no. in a week. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I know. But not in a day. Yeah. It's, it's crazy stuff. Yeah. And it, so... Don't you think most people know, though, that they need supplements, you know, because, I mean, like the default thing people do is they run out to the drugstore or whatever and buy that, you know, horse pill multivitamin <laughs> that, you know, they've, they're told everything they want is in there. But it's like, oh, I don't even know. Everything they want plus something that they don't want uh, are in those right. kinds of things. So and and you don't know how they're processed and made. So exactly. I would say that if you are concerned, which you should be about supplements, don't go that route. Don't right. go to, you know, the wholesale store because you can buy them in, you know, a five, five, five <laughs> gallon jug and it'll last you a lifetime. It, you know, it's not going to really provide much benefit to you. So Gary Young, the founder of Young Living, um, the first supplement they did was multigreens. Mm. And um, he was doing research on it. He was drawing blood and seeing what was happening to the blood after a person took the supplement. Oh, okay, cool. And so he created multigreens and then he which is like a lot of greens you know that we need yep um and he made it without essential oils and then he added in essential oils to it um and without oils the body's blood absorption rate was 42 percent in 24 hours so the good stuff that was in that supplement the person got 42 percent less than half Mm. of what was in it in 24 hours then he added oils to it and the absorbency rate increased to 86 percent in an hour wow yeah so and that's just with the help of the oil right right, right. and because oils we've talked about this before on this program they they really enter at the cellular level right i mean so that gets into your system very quickly right the cells were receiving the nutrients they had not been able to get before mm-hmm. um And those essential oils are very, very tiny. Our body knows how to absorb uh, plants really Mm -hmm. well. And um, the supplements are just supporting the body. The body does the healing itself. Mm -hmm. 
So the supplement doesn't heal, but it just supports the body. Yeah, right. To do the things that the body is supposed to do. And almost every essential oil, or every um, supplement of Young Living is infused with essential oils because it just makes the um, supplement so much better. Yeah, more effective. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So. All right. So are we at to the point where you get to tell us the basic ones? Because there's, <laughs> I don't know, hundreds of different supplements. Well, there's but, not hundreds, but well, there's a you lot know, of there's a lot. Yes, and, and there's targeted supplements, yeah. like for supporting the heart or the gut and yeah. various things like that. But we're going to talk about like the top four that we think everybody should take. Yeah. And um, so number one, like John was saying, is Ningxia Red. Yeah. And um, we absolutely love it. It is a liquid. It's a super fruit made from the wolfberry or goji berry, uh, grown in the Ningxia province of China. That's why it's called Ningxia. Mm -hmm. And it is red. That's why it's called red. (laughs) Clever. That's incredibly clever marketing. so creative. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And when we started taking Ningxia, uh, we took it sporadically, and we'd heard other people say, oh, you should take that regularly. And so eventually Mm -hmm. we started to do that because... If we'd start to take it when our wellness was going down and boom, it would make make a huge impact. Yes. We'd feel immediate yeah. improvement. And so um, I I was taking it and literally after a week. It was like, oh my gosh, I definitely have more energy during the day. Yep. Um, I'm not as worn out or tired. Uh, I, def- I felt it in a week. Yeah. And I don't drink energy drinks, so I take Ningxia Red before I work out. Mm-hmm. And it's like an energy drink of its own, but it's highly concentrated with, you know, vitamins and minerals and just mm-hmm. great stuff. Yes. So, yeah. In fact, if you're only going to take one thing, that's what I would say take. Right. Right. It's got so many things that are included in it. Yes. So they were, they did research in this area because people that lived in the Ningxia province of China lived to be over... 100 14 mm-hmm. times more than the rest of china yeah and they weren't just like sitting around in nursing homes they were actually moving around and doing well mm-hmm. so they were wondering why do these people live long here and what they discovered after researching that it was related to this wolfberry that's grown there they just incorporated into their diet their whole lives long mm-hmm. and um so gary young ended, ended up making a puree of it which includes the the seeds and the peel and the skin and the leaves. And uh, so when you get it, you have to shake it up mm-hmm. because there's some like, yeah. solids in it. Yeah, it's almost like pulp. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And then he added some essential oils to it to improve absorption. Um, and it is so good. It's a super high antioxidant. Anti or oxidants are what help age us Mm -hmm. and so it's fighting against those aging things yes and um so love it love it love it yes so that's if you're only going to do one thing it's nick's red a lot of people that's what they just do right um they just get their you know essential rewards uh our uh, loyalty rewards uh program Mm -hmm. set up to get a bottle or two of ningxia every month and boom they're set right and it's not really nice. It also supports the gut. Mm-hmm. It supports the liver. Um, it ha- it converts acid to alkaline in the gut. And um, the only other thing that does that is lemons. Mm-hmm. So it just helps the gut function better. Um, we're all also exposed to free radicals. It fights against the free radicals. Um, it has a great pairing of vitamins and minerals Mm -hmm. so um the calcium ratios are one to one zinc to copper is two to one potassium to magnesium is eight to one it's exactly what the body needs in the right proportions it's just such a good fruit Mm. and it it tastes good and it has no sugar no it's um it's got some sweetening with stevia it does not raise the blood sugar um it's a low glycemic uh, food it's a whole food because you're getting the whole food it's just right. pureed so it's excellent and we've definitely felt the difference in it we take it with us when we travel we use the packet right and, um highly recommend this supplement yes if there is only one supplement 
We recommend Ningxia Red. Yes. But if you were going to have another one. <laughs> if you're going to have two supplements. Then what would come next? Well, a probiotic. Yes. And um, Life 9 is the probiotic that we have because it's got nine strains of bacteria. That's why it's called Life 9. Mm-hmm. And 17 billion live cultures. And so that's going to promote a healthy digestion. Yes. And like everything happens in the gut practically. Totally. Yeah. You know, we absorb our food. If our gut isn't working, we are in distress. Yes. Do you remember when your gut didn't work? I remember when my, I remember that well, yes. And um, so definitely love the Life 9 and love taking care of my gut. Yeah. Nobody likes a icky gut. I know. And like so many um, neurotransmitters are created in the gut. Mm. Um, so it helps your brain function as well. Mm-hmm. Um, our immune system is connected to the gut, it supports um, our skin, allergy issues, mm-hmm. a healthy weight when the gut is working properly, just the whole system is working better. Yes. You know, when you're absorbing right things. So you got to put good things in the gut too. And we do recommend eating organic fruit and vegetables and um, pasture raised uh, meats and eggs. So. Those are going to support that healthy gut, too. So you're minimizing herbicides and pesticides, which are going to hurt your gut and kill the healthy bacteria that's in there. Don't put bad stuff in your gut. No. I mean, it's something that can handle a lot of stuff, but not too much bad stuff. Right. We are pretty uh, resilient. Yep. But as time goes on, we get a little bit less resilient. Yes. Um, So we just need to take good care. What's next? Super B. Ooh, Super B. And Super B is a B vitamin complex. And it's okay. so good. Yeah. What's it for? Do you remember? No, I don't. I was just going to ask you, so why do we take vitamin B? Because I take it every day. <laughs> I take it religiously. <laughs> so, um, you know. It's, it's for your energy. There we go. Well, I have good energy. Yeah, you do. So, uh, you know, but I, oh, I thought that was the Ningxia, but... It is Ningxia. There is yeah. some B in the Ningxia, but okay. this is Super B is like eight B vitamins and bioavailable minerals nice. to help you feel so good and strong. It's got folic, it's folic acid is from lemon peels. It's got a B12 for the body that, that's easy for the body to absorb. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got mang- magnesium, manganese, psyllium, zinc, and it just helps maintain your energy, your heart, your cognitive function, and just ease everyday stress. Yes. Because we do have stress every day, and so it helps us function function well within that. And when your body is working well, your mind is working well, your heart is working mm-hmm. well, you know? Yep. So, and it supports a good mood, you know? If you've got good energy, you're likely to have a good mood. Yeah. And who doesn't want a good mood? And who doesn't want the people around them to have a good mood? Yes. Make it a required supplement. Everyone in your <laughs> <Yeah>. family. <laughs> so there's no family drama. Right. Take your super B. Yeah. All right. And the fourth supplement is... Would this be my favorite? It is your favorite. Because it just tastes like candy. It does. <laughs> super D. Super D. Oh, such a great supplement. I, it does. It's like the high... I always take this one last because I just want that to be the last thing I remember when I take my supplements, is that super Dean? Oh, and how does it make you feel? It makes me feel great. I think that one makes you feel great. You said it makes you feel happy. It's my happy. It's my happy supplement. Yep. But maybe that was the super B. I'm just mistaken. I don't know. But vitamin D is really good for you. I know that. It does support mood too. It does. Okay. And um, like a few years ago, John was like, I. This is so good. I just feel happy every time I take it. Yeah. <laughs> I still do. I love it. I it's almost like you know, take the other things, and then okay, now I get to take the D. Mm. <laughs> it is a chewable. Yeah, and it, you kind of sit it in your mouth for a little bit, and yeah. kind of like a Pez. Remember those Pez <laughs> dispensers? <laughs> they should have it for vitamin D. But it's not bad for you. No, it's, it's good for you. Totally good. No sugar. It supports nothing. your immune system. Yeah. It supports your respiratory system. Supports your mood. Um, supports bone growth and muscles. Um, it's so good for you. Yeah, awesome. It's awesome. got lemon balm extract, uh, lime and melissa, premium essential oils. 
so which support awesome. good mood and hormone regulation. So that is a really Great. key one to take. And they, they've even said that vitamin D is more like a hormone than a vitamin. Yeah. So. Well, we wanted to make this podcast about the basic ones, mm-hmm. you know, Ningxia, mm-hmm. Omega Gis, uh, vitamin C, or vitamin B and vitamin D. We didn't put vitamin C in there, but, you know, I think you can get vitamin C from a lot of things, but I still take it because I love the chewable vitamin C as well. Yes. So yes. Um, uh, anything else before we wrap up here? On well, these basic you know, supplements? you mentioned like taking um, supplements that you get at a drugstore yeah. or um, wholesale store or whatever. Yeah, yeah whatever. And um, a lot of that is like a lot of things come from China and mm-hmm. China does not have the same standards yeah. as um, the U.S. And even there is an international standard organization that um, has very high standards and all of Young Living's supplements are ISO international standard organization yes. certified and they meet or exceed those standards and so things that we've gotten the people have gotten from China ha- have been tainted yeah. they don't have the right things in them they could have pesticides heavy metals exposed to radiation yeah I mean, um, it's it's not worth the hassle if you're gonna if you're I mean and the risk really right uh, make sure and that you know we've talked about that about all the Young Living products and, you know, just the care that are t- it's taken to create them all. So, right. you know. You do uh, get what you pay you for. You do. You do. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. you know, they're not uh, super expensive. They're not, you know, they're not the cheapest thing either, but they are awesome. You know you're going to get the effect. I mean, that, you know, efficacy is what it's all about. And that's really what you want to really want to focus on. And so really the most effective is the cheapest. Yeah. Because, you know, if you're getting something that's tainted with bad stuff, you're going to have the results of that. Yeah. You might not know that. It but then that's the results you're going to want, though. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So a good uh, rule of thumb is to try a supplement for four months and then take a week off and see how you feel. Yeah. And um, we'd recommend starting a supplement like one a month. So start Ningxia for the first month. Ningxia Red. Mm-hmm. Then add your probiotic month two, and then vitamin B month three, and then vitamin D month four, and then maybe try going off of your um, Ningxia for a week, and then see how you feel. Yes, you will notice a difference. And you will say, I need to get back on it, because I just feel better. I feel better with it. And, you know, I would just say my mom is um, almost 95, Mm -hmm. and... She's been taking these supplements that we've been talking about. She takes a few others as well, Cardiogize and Agilese. But um, she is doing well Yes. for 95. Yeah, she's alive. That's uh, For 95, that's great. Right. I mean, a lot of us don't make it that far. Right. And she had a very significant downturn, a fall, a break, and um, and then she's improving. She popped back. Like, unbelievable we did not think that was going to happen but it did and um so good care good care good nutrition and good supplements make a huge difference in our lives yes and that's how you can get what you don't have right (laughs) right and if you don't have a water distiller check out (laughs) waterdistillers.com great machines that produce great water for your great wellness check it out over at www.waterdistillers.com Com, and uh, we're going to have some more stuff for you next episode. We'll be hitting episode 95. Wow, we're almost to the 100 mark. Wow. That's pretty That's pretty cool. So uh, make sure you... Yep. Long, it's up because of the supplements we're taking. I'm telling you, that's what it is. That Ningxia, we, we would, this podcast would be over. But actually, this podcast is over, and we'll see you next time on Hunt for Wellness.